marketers and entrepreneurs, especially those of you who get to create your own products, courses, programs, et cetera. Here is the formula you're going to follow anytime you're bringing something new to the market. And I'm going to tell you what to do with things you already have. Formula is market first, product second. What does this mean? First things. Number one is figure out your audience. Who needs something that you could possibly create? What problem can you solve? And who specifically is it for? This is the first question that you ask yourself. Who out there in the world has a problem that I can solve? For example, when I created my first product, it was a training program for basketball players, how to get better at dribbling, how to get better at shooting. I thought of the problem that I was going to solve before I created the product. That is what I mean when I say market first. Market is just an audience of people who have a problem that you could possibly solve. Once you're clear on the problem, then you move on to step number two. Then you create your offer. Based on the needs of that market you've identified, you don't just go create something and then hope that people want it. You identify a need, and then create a product based on the need that you are resolving. That way, you know that you're not guessing or gambling when you create a product because you know you're solving a problem for people, which means you know you probably have some people who are willing to buy it because you're addressing their specific issue. Now, point number three, what if you already have products? You're listening to this like, damn, Dre, I already got 30 products out there. What am I supposed to do? Well, one thing you can do is reposition your product. You can often take a, the same product you already have, change the conversation about that product, that's called positioning, and be able to sell that product better to more people just because you're talking about it in a different way without making too many changes to the product or offering itself. And for your future products, now that you understand this formula, you can use this with everything that you put out moving forward so you don't make the mistake that I have made and probably many of you have made of creating a product then hoping that you can find somebody who wanted to buy it. Instead, find people who want to buy something, then go create that. That's the way you do it the right way. Work on your game.